people what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Nora thank you so much for watching before we jump into today's video be sure to like comment share subscribe follow your girl on Instagram because you already know we're growing the family across all platforms so we are back with another vlog um, I don't know if this is gonna be a day in my life vlog if this is gonna be like an entire weekend vlog it'll probably be a weekend vlog but um, today is Saturday December 10th um, it's about 9.30 right now in the morning. Um, I have been up for a while. I think I got up. My alarm went off at like 8. Did most of my morning routine, journaled, meditated, um, did like my mini morning skincare routine. Um, I still have to hop in the shower, but I have a couple things I wanted to do first. Um, so did my little morning uh, routine. And then now I am just ice rolling my face. Um, I am usually someone who always does some type of like rolling jade roller gua sha to my face um, but I've most recently incorporated ice rolling um, I find that I tend to be a little bit on the puffier side when I wake up in the morning um, it's just the way that I am in my face so I really enjoy this ice roller um, I got this off of Amazon I want to say it was yeah Amazon I will link it down below for y'all. Um, I was supposed to do another like updated Amazon video, but honestly, the packages were just coming in so sporadically that I don't know. I just started using the shit that I ordered and never actually filmed a video. But anyways, I have been ice rolling um, every day. I absolutely love it. Um, I definitely see a difference in terms of puffing. Now, would I say that this does a big like deal or helps out a lot with like actually contouring my face not so much i would definitely say if that's what you're focusing on the gua sha tool i feel like this angle is absolutely insane but anyways i feel like the gua sha tool is going to be your best bet but again if you are just wanting to focus on um deep puffing trying to get like the extra you know fluids out of your face uh, relaxing the jaw. I tend to have a pretty tense and clenched jaw, so this really helps. Obviously, the ice itself is just really cooling, um, but I definitely see a difference, like I said, in terms of deep puffing. But if you're looking for more of a contour tool, I wouldn't use this just because obviously you can see how large it is. Um, I keep mine in the freezer. Um, you don't have to, it does stay pretty cold on its own, but there is ice inside of this, so I like to keep it in the freezer to get it like really, really cold. Um, I do wipe it and clean it off before I use it every single time. Um, but yeah, so I am, I'm sorry, I feel like I've been talking a bunch already this morning, <laughs> but just to give you all a quick little rundown for the day. So today I am actually hosting um, my cousins, my family here um, for a Christmas night. So if you all have watched in uh, previous vlogs kind of around this time of year vlogmas um i usually host the kind of like friends miss type of thing that my girls and i usually do um but obviously as you know we get older and um everyone's life is kind of progressing things change so a lot of my girls are moms some are new moms most recently um so it's a little bit harder to navigate you know with all of us kind of in different places so um, I figured why not do something a little bit different this year and do it a little bit more focused on just my family my cousins brothers and stuff like that um, since I had never done that before I've hosted my cousins a couple times but nothing like themed and all that good stuff so we are having our kind of like holiday cousins Christmas shindig tonight at my house um, so I don't have too, too much to do. The house is pretty clean. Um, I did a pretty deep clean yesterday, but I do just kind of want to go back and do like a quick sweep, um, wipe down counters and all that stuff just to make sure, you know, we're good to go. I do have to go to the grocery store just to grab a couple things, um, like a couple little snacks, but for the most part, everyone is bringing stuff. Um, and we're doing it, uh, kind of like Christmas pajamas, ugly sweater themed, just as long as you're wearing something kind of like 
Christmas themed, and then we're doing a Yankee swap. So I'm super excited about that. So just have to get ready for that. Um, I want to see if I can film another video in between, but we will see. We will see what we can do real quick. Y'all, I'm telling you, I don't even need to keep rolling this, but it just feels so good on my face that like I find myself sitting here for like a solid 10 minutes just rolling out my face. But anyway, but y'all, can we just talk real quick? So, oh, excuse me. But y'all, can we just talk real quick? And I know we've been talking for like 10 minutes already, but bear with me real quick and then we'll jump into actual like stuff for the day. Um, SZA dropped her new album yesterday. Okay, yesterday, Friday, December 9th, and baby. So I love SZA, I've always loved SZA. Loved her first project that she dropped, which is kind of crazy, I didn't realize it's been like five years, loved it. But something about this project, okay. Something about this project. <laughs> if you know, you know, okay? If you know, you know. If you know where I'm at in my life right now, this, this project really speaks to my soul, um, almost a little bit too much, but that's okay. Um, it's so good, it is so, so good. And honestly, you have to listen to it in its entirety. Um, I definitely have a couple different standouts um, for me. I have some other like runner ups that change every time I listen to the project. Um, I've listened to it, you know, in my headphones. I've listened to it while I'm showering. I've listened to it like super loud on my stereo system. Um, I try to listen to albums a couple different ways to just give me like a really good grasp on how I feel about the project. Ian SZA. Well done, girl. Well done. I mean, I don't know. Y'all listen for yourselves. Let me know down below. Have you listened to the new SZA project? Do you like it? What are your thoughts? What's your favorite track? All that good stuff. So enough rambling. Um, I'm gonna get dressed real quick because I need to run to the grocery store. Like I said, I had to grab a couple things. Um, so I'll probably take y'all with me there, just depending on how busy the store is. Um, and then we'll come back and continue the day. All right, y'all, so we are back home. Let me tell y'all something, okay? Baby, baby. <laughs> Boston, frozen, frozen. It is cold outside, okay? No Christmas jingle. It is freaking freezing. It's like 32 degrees out which I felt like I was gonna be fine just because when I'm in the grocery store, I tend to get really hot, just kind of like moving around, hustle and bustle. Y'all can see when I go to the grocery store, I'm not playing. Like I do still put like a cute little fit on, uh, you know, a little, little pea coat. I got my Lululemon on, whatever, all that good stuff. Got my phones on, you know, real cute. Glasses on, don't talk to me, headphones in, whatever. But y'all, as soon as I stepped outside, the wind, the when you guys, is it necessary? Comment down below, let me know if you know where that, <laughs> where that reference is from. But anyways, yeah, went to the grocery store, it's cold as hell outside. So I had every intention of just going, grabbing a couple things real quick. Literally spoke to Sabrina this morning on the phone and I was like, girl, I'm not doing a charcuterie board, none of that. Just because anybody who makes charcuterie boards, y'all know. They are expensive, okay? They are expensive to put together. And like, I have quite a few people coming over tonight. I think we're expecting maybe like 15, 20 people over my place. So it's like, bruh, to put together a charcuterie board that is gonna be substantial enough for that many people can be pretty pricey. It can be pretty expensive. So I was just kind of trying to be, you know, cost efficient, I was trying to be responsible, I was trying to maintain a budget, and I was like, I'm not going to make a charcuterie board. Well, that went out the window fairly quickly. Um, as soon as I kind of started walking around, I had told Sabrina, I was like, I'm probably just gonna do like chips and dip, and then maybe a, sorry y'all, I'm putting my stuff away. Um, maybe just like a quick little fruit and like whatever veggie tray. 
yeah i was like no we're not doing that um let me put y'all on a different tripod because i feel like this angle sometimes gets really annoying okay i don't know why i don't put y'all on this tripod more often i think it's just because when i am walking around vlogging i tend to just keep it in this handheld one but when i got in the grocery store it was so crazy anyways i didn't even vlog but long story long i got in there and i was like you know what nora fuck it we're just gonna we're gonna make a charcuterie board even if it's a smaller one um at least it'll be just something cute to have out for people to munch on so i'm gonna just show y'all real quick um what i got from the grocery store um i went to market basket if you are familiar from like the boston north shore area but not even just the north shore they have locations other places but if you're from like the boston area you know of market basket love that grocery store so um a couple things that i picked up from there so i did get just some like assortments of their like cured meats so this has prosciutto a little bit of salami and then a little bit of pork shoulder um, people always go crazy for the salami so i always get an extra one here um, i also got um, some cheese i got a pepper jack cheese oops sorry y'all can't even see that because it's so bright here hopefully y'all can see yeah i got some pepper jack cheese Let me back y'all up a little bit child pepper jack cheese i got some brie love brie probably my personal favorite i did get some goat cheese as well and then i also got some mozzarella balls i like to get the ones that are in the like herb and spices already just because i think it gives a really good flavor um i also got some <laughs> orange juice but obviously not for the charcuterie board if anybody needs it as a chaser um i also picked up some i was gonna say i knew i had another cheese i also got some manchego cheese which i absolutely love the first time i ever tried that was in texas at like a wine and cheese bar phenomenal quick little tip which you guys will probably see what i'm doing this a little bit later some people do cut off the edge i personally keep it on just because i like the way that it looks when i set it up on the board but do whatever you please um, I also got some organic strawberries just because I do like to add a fruit on there. I like to do grapes as well, but all of the grapes was looking a little questionable. So I said, no, we're not putting that on there. Um, and then I also picked up, <laughs> again, coffee. This is just for me because I needed another coffee, but got some uh, queso dip from Tostitos. My family, we love that. Honestly, whenever we throw parties, it's like a must to have chips and dip and especially the queso blanco from Tostitos. So we love that whenever we host. So I did grab that. Got a big bag of the Tostitos chips. I got the party size. I prefer the scoops because your girl's greedy and I want to make sure I get a nice little scoop of the queso dip. Um, I also got some sweet plantain chips because I'm thinking I'm going to throw these on to the Chicago. <laughs> I can't even talk i also got some sweet plantain chips because i think i'm going to throw this onto the board as well um sometimes i like to add just like some different flavors textures i think it makes it a little bit more fun and interesting um i also grabbed some what are these um dark chocolate peanut butter covered almonds i'm not going to eat them because i'm not really into chocolate at all but again i think this will be really cute to add on the board and then as i was walking out i saw these little um sugar cookie and toffee clusters um again especially since it is a kind of like christmas themed party i think it's nice to just add a little bit of chocolate and some sweetness on there so i think those two will be really cute to just kind of spice it up a little bit um and then just like the last couple things that i grabbed were just some things that i needed for the house obviously with us throwing a party tonight want to make sure i have them so just got some clorox wipes got some more um dish soap um i do need to wrap my gift for yankee swap which sworn i had a lot of tape left over from last year but i honestly was throwing away things pretty quickly i probably threw it away so had to grab some gift wrapping tape um and then i just needed to pick. so that is pretty much everything that i grabbed from the grocery store not a ton of things i really just went to grab um like i said just some snacks and a couple things for the party and then ended up getting all the ingredients for the charcuterie board so i'm not going to prep any of this stuff right now um, i'm just going to put it away so that it stays um, nice and cold and then um, we're going to hop in the shower get ready because like i said i do want to film or do i want to sweep first yeah maybe we'll do that we'll sweep wipe down all the counters and all that good stuff 
shower, do my makeup, film, start the charcuterie board, and we should be good. All right, love that for us. So let me put these things away and then um, we'll get into cleaning. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I want to hang out with my friends and friends It's probably because that's on. And wait, and believe it or not, so I just, I just have it. No, I just have it set. It's just naturally warm in here from y'all body heat. Listen, cause y'all be yelling at me. I'm gonna do a mixture. I'm gonna do the heat and cool, so we can get it. AC gonna come on for a little bit just to cool it down. Oh, he said Feliz Navidad. Stop playing with him. Yeah, the vibes, the vibes, the vibes, the vibes. Now we good. If we need to order another one, because DJ brought a bottle um, as well. If we need to order, huh? He brought it. He said I. Y'all are killing me with these matching PJs. Target, Target. Okay. We all should have just got the same ones at that point. Cheers, All right, guys. cheers, y'all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Jeff, think about last night. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't drink the whole thing? Let me see. Let me see. Baby, see. That was baby. That was baby. Sabrina do be pouring big ass shots. That was not a big shot, guys. <laughs> Sabrina, you made it mad big, bro. <laughs> yeah. Sabrina be making them heavy handed. I'm sorry, what? No, I got cute. Okay, one is red. How, how many you have on your tree? How many you have on your tree? One, I just made one at school and I have one. All right, y'all, everybody get your shot glass put up. Wait, let me get my there's more food. Oh, yeah, there's more food. All right, that's what I'm saying. Go do that first. This one, you food. Why don't you leave it there? You know what I mean? She's going to leave it there. I know. She's going to leave it there. All right. Y'all know me. Y'all know I love to do a quick little. <laughs> Jeffy, real good friend. <laughs> Ready? Yeah? Well, just a quick cheers. I'm really happy that Sabrina came up with the um, I know we do a lot of different, I shouldn't even say we. Jeff does a really good job of bringing us oh, all yeah. together yeah. and always is hosting us. And I'm happy that Sabrina said, you know what, Nora, maybe we should do something for Christmas to have everyone together because we don't do it enough. And I'm happy that everyone is here. Uh, love all of y'all. I'm excited for what 2023 is hopefully going to bring for all of us. I'm happy everyone is here to celebrate and enjoy together. And on this beautiful evening, Merry Christmas. And I love y'all. Cheers. Right. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Oh, he don't got his. <laughs> well, he got it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, whenever you guys are kind of like done here, we'll just kind of like circle around the living room little mini table because we're going to do the gift swap. Um, I have numbers pulled and then I'll explain the rules in like 30 seconds. Just give me a second. That's so late. I hope we raise in our head. Shout it love to the sky. Because we got the fire, fire, fire. Yeah, we got the fire. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to 
He doesn't have any in his. I got it. It was in one. That's why I was telling to go together. Jay, don't forget Andrew. I got one. Oh, you got it? Okay. All right. Go to TT Jasmine. Let's put it in your plate. Okay, Aki, you want to go? Should I take this one? Jay, you want to go? This one or another one? Damn. Aki, you hooked up, Uncle Josh. I want, I want, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hurry, Aki. I'm mad. Give me a high five. Aki. There you go. There you go. All right. Get the big one, get the big one. Well, we all had the same limit. Open the big gift. Yeah, sorry, sorry. So we can see what it is. Yeah, give what you want. Yeah, give what you want. I know, that's what I'm trying to make a good decision off based off appearances. Based off of the packaging? Yeah. Jay, be careful. Packaging can be deceiving. Okay, okay. This one looks like a candy bag. Yeah, he thought that got wrapped in a store. Let me grab that. That got wrapped in a store. Let me get that. I like that. Well, you have to open it, so. I gotta open it up right now? Yes. What happened to Wade? Because, well, because, because you're number one. See? That's what I mean, y'all were talking. You're number one. There's no one before you or after. Not too much, not too much. It'll be seven. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Open it. Quickly. Yeah. $120 for a stop. I'm like, not too much. Not too much. I turned around. I said, not too much. How you know that's mine? It's not? It is. It is. It is. But I'm going to have to explain it because you're not going to be able to tell straight from the box. And don't nobody get upset because no, it was not within the price limit. But anyways, um, it's a three-in-one, and I'll show you guys the video um, station. It's so an easy follow. If anybody's been on, t on TikTok, y'all will have seen it. It's the three-in-one charging station that charges your phone. It has the night light and it also has a portable speaker, and it all plugs in to your nightstand. Um, and it's like a three-in-one. I'll show you guys like the full picture of it. It's white, and again, it has a night light. A portable speaker. So a charging station. Yes, it charges your it charges your phone, AirPods, and your watch, but it also has a speaker that detaches. And, that's if and it has you have a light. Apple products. Well, I'm yeah, taking yeah, it. Yeah, if you have Apple products. Yeah. Huh? If you have Apple products. I'm contending for me. I was saying Hunter Nessa, like she said yeah. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Yeah. yeah. Me next. It's yeah. in the contending yeah. for me. So there you go. Know. So there you go. Alright, number two. Number two. Go ahead, Jazzy. Yeah, okay. Are you gonna switch? Well, but the rapping was fire. I'll give you Thank that. You. Before you decide, that's that's thick, right? You see that? That's that good yeah. rapping. No, no, yeah. yeah. She has to right keep right it right, right now. Right? So, no. Once she can grab whatever, but she if she opens it, she has to keep it. Oh, no. oh yeah, you open it. If she opens it, she has to keep it. She can pick it up, she can touch it, shake it. she can shake it. That's not <laughs> This is a board game or something. Yeah, that's not bad, girl. Yeah, too much noise. <laughs> Puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> he said Django. <laughs> yeah. This one got some weight to it. Yeah. But the moment you're like, okay. I'm going to keep it. Got it. Hi, it's the opening right, girl. So let's see it. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Electric, electric wine aerator. Oh, it's an aerator and dispenser? Period. Yeah. Yeah, I like that bag. I like that bag a lot. Hey! Yeah. Now imagine you win a million off that. Hey! Hey, I'm gonna say this. I got that. So whoever wins a lot of money on the scratch off, you already know. We're gonna split it half. Yeah, we're gonna split it half. I'm actually not. I don't know what I'm actually not. I got you on a fourth. Alright, number three. Number three, number three. All right, go ahead, Sin. And again, you can pick it up and do whatever, but the moment you decide to open it, you got it. You got to keep it. Dang. August, August really wants y'all to take that one. You do? All right. All right. You know, either way. Let me let me play that for y'all. Let me play that for y'all. Let me get the. 
Robin, we got some hits. I'm about to say, Robin, I'm going to go that one. It looks like it's busting. He got some good ones. Oh, I love you. Wait, but that's perfect though. Okay, who is Sing! Oh, we got one! Okay! Damn, we wait. Damn! Wait, we was talking shit and imagine that's what you want. Yo, I just was talking about this! Yeah. There you go. Alright, so my turn. Yeah! Did she immediately get to the next one? Next time, somebody got to be Augie! You see Augie, you got the touch. High five! He really do! He got the touch, he knows what people need! Somebody got to be Oh, 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 oh,
Wait. I want it. So what? So I got, I got a speaker. Everybody, everybody, show your gifts. You gotta speak up. Okay. So, a charging station. I'm gonna take one. Wait. Keep in mind, that's the second time it's been stolen. A gift can only be stolen three times. So the third time it's taken, that's it. Someone just got you so busy at chocolate. That rapping was fire. Oh my god. That's oh, that's you did that. He gave you the gift. Yeah, I need one of these. Air tag. Sabrina, Sabrina wanted those. Number 10 is me, so I'm going to take the charcuterie board. Well, no, I want. I know he did. Give it to me. Give it to me. What are you stealing?
Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, Sunday. Um, so what day is it? Sunday, December 11th. Um, let me pause this real quick. This is super, super loud. I need to wipe off my, um, I'm gonna pause this real quick. I am not doing Vlogmas this year, but a lot of YouTubers that I like to watch are doing Vlogmas, so I have just been binge watching videos all day. Switch y'all up real quick. Just gotta wipe off my roller. It is actually 12.30 now, y'all. I have, <laughs> I've been up for quite a few hours. Um, I slept in a little bit. I woke up at nine today. Um, just because I was exhausted, obviously, from yesterday. Um, anyone who knows hosting, <laughs> hosting will definitely take a lot out of you. So um, we had an amazing time. I had so much fun with my family. Um, it's, it's always amazing when we can all get together. Um, some of you might know this, some of you might not know this, but I have a massive, massive, massive family um on both sides so everyone that you saw yesterday obviously was not even remotely close to all my cousins and family and stuff but um i just tried to get as many of us together as we could uh one of my other brothers um could not make it just because he is out of town traveling so he wasn't there um and then i had some other family members who um couldn't make it as well but anyways i'm happy that we were able to get together um I talked about it a little bit yesterday when I was doing our little like toast cheers. It's like a running joke because I always love making the toast or doing the cheers. Um, not that my cousins ever asked me to, honestly, a lot of times they tell me not to, <laughs> but I do like to jump in and give the toast and the cheers. But one thing that I did mention yesterday is just, I love how we are starting to kind of create our own traditions and um, are just kind of trying to do our best to keep you know, the next generation of our family together. Um, my grandparents, our parents, aunts, uncles, all of them have done an amazing job um, our entire lives of keeping us so close and creating traditions and just having moments where we could be together, um, which I think is why obviously we're so close. <laughs> People always ask, they're like, yo, you spend a lot of time with your family. And I'm like, yeah, we're, we're really close. I love my cousins. Like, they, I, I love my cousins, love my brothers, love my family. So why wouldn't I want to spend time with them? And there's a million of us. So it's like, there's always somebody to hang out with. So I'm just really happy that we are starting to, again, you know, I don't know why I'm rolling with this hood on because I can't even get my full face. Y'all already know hair wrapped, don't play. Um, yeah, I just love that we're creating, you know, our own tradition so it was a really great time um i ended up going out for a quick drink with janelle i did not take you guys for that just because it was literally 45 minutes of me probably being at the bar with her um but we just went somewhere pretty local to where i live um and then came back home um and then this morning i have just been um tidying up um tidying up a little bit um my cleaning lady was actually supposed to come today um, but I ended up just canceling just because honestly it wasn't as much as I thought I needed to get done today so I'll probably just wait and have um, her come and do a deep clean another day um, and yeah doing laundry washing my sheets obviously it's Sunday nice little mini Sunday reset did all my dishes took the trash out um, I did most of the cleaning yesterday honestly before I went to bed so I didn't have much to do today uh, y'all already know I love this roller um, I think I might have mentioned this already in this video, but I'll have this linked down below for you all. Um, just made a coffee real quick. Um, I haven't had a coffee, honestly. Damn, in like over a week, I haven't had coffee, so kind of like a treat. Um, I'm feeling a little groggy. I probably sound like it too, but I'm feeling a little groggy, so I do want to have that. Um, and then I'm just going to watch some YouTube, honestly. I'll probably watch some football as well um, and just chill so i don't know how much more of today i will show you all but that's what we're doing <laughs> then next week i switch out your coffee or coffee replacer for the week and just little things you can do um or remove from your favorite it is so many hours later <laughs> um it's like 7 30 i think it is 7 30 7 no i'm tripping it's eight o'clock um i have pretty much just been doing this 
all day, like literally all day on my couch. Um, I washed, excuse me, I washed all of my bedding and stuff. So just made my bed. Um, I'm just waiting for the duvet cover pretty much to be done and then do that dishes like i said everything in the house is clean and i've just been watching youtube videos um i did take a little break and have like a full blown dance party it was much needed all the emotions all the feels um which was good sometimes you just need a really good dance party by yourself um so yeah we listened to music for like a couple of hours um and yeah i'm pretty much just gonna do this until um, I take another shower before heading into bed and then that'll be it for the night. Tomorrow is Monday, obviously. Um, it is my last full week of work for 2022, okay? And then your girl is on vacation until the 4th. Yeah, I don't go back to work until the 4th. So my last day of work is Friday the 16th and I don't go back to work until the 4th. So let me tell you. When I say I'm giving bare minimum this week, I'm giving bare minimum. Everything, every response is going to be, let's revisit in the new year. Okay, let's revisit in the new year. But hopefully you all, you know, enjoyed this video, enjoyed this vlog. Um, I know it wasn't really eventful today, but this is real life. I'm not always doing stuff. Um, it snowed today in Boston, which I am so excited about because, again, I was able to just sit my ass on my couch, you know? and enjoy it from the warmth of my humble abode. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Um, I don't really have anything else to share, but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas time.